Hello, YouTubers. All right, I uh, went out to Walmart and I got this Fisher Price toy. It costs like uh, five dollars and sixty-three cents. I'm going to attempt to make uh, rod and coil again. Uh, this time, I'm going to use the plastic donut that I see everybody else using. Um, this one, and I have a. Uh, print out of the rod and coil the schematic thing here whatever you want to call it I got this off of uh, rod and aerodynamics.org so uh, I will be attempting to rewrap another rod and coil so I'll do that and get started all right, here's a couple things that I'm finding out on these uh, on these plastic tubes that the way tells you on YouTube when you're trying to make a rod and coil. Now, these measurements I have up here, these are 10 degrees each. And uh, they say they have to be 10 degrees each and uh, 36 pence. Well, as you can see here, I got my little protractor or whatever you call this marked with the 10 degrees. There's 100, there's 110 degrees. Well, on this little blue Fisher Price thing, you can't get 36 markings here at 10 degrees. All I get is 29. Right there is 29. So I went the other route, uh, the 10 degrees uh, down here at the bottom here. I drew a, a line from 10 degrees here, drew it straight down, I drew it to here. And it's just a little bit smaller uh, than the 10 degrees, as you can see. Uh, the dark lines at the top are 10 degrees and the smaller ones on the side are maybe 8 degrees. Now by doing that I can go around and I can get 36 pins and 36 markings here. The smaller markings here that you see that way but it's not 10 degrees. Another thing they don't bother to tell you is uh, I marked it on this one better is uh, you can see this it says Fisher Price here it's raised up I don't know if you can tell see how much it's raised up on this plastic donut that you have to scrape that smooth so that's what I did here uh, I scraped it off with my utility knife and then I'm sanding it to get it a smoother they're feeling here so it's all smooth all the way around but they don't tell you that on uh, any of the videos that I've found on YouTube so I'm saying it myself here uh, this is the biggest uh, plastic donut on that Fisher Price and then the next one is green and then yellow then orange and then that clear one so it's not exactly 10 degrees uh, by the protractor way. So anyways, I'm going to continue sanding this smooth and then uh, put the pans in and see what it looks like from there. Alright, I got half of it, uh, the pins done. Uh, this is 18 pins. Put in uh, squared uh, evenly as possible almost 10 degrees each one of these it's maybe nine or so but this is a it looks like halfway done hold it up here get a better shot okay. zoom in a little bit oh, uh, pay, don't pay attention to these markings here these are just mess ups but here's the very first pin and here's the very bottom pin here and uh, get my retractor whatever you call this so yeah it's almost pretty straight there you go pretty close I can move that blue one over a little bit on the bottom but that's halfway through so I'll continue on 
All right, I have finished my uh, putting the pins in all 36 space as evenly as possible around my uh, rod and coil and I'm going to uh, start doing the winding, the A winding first. I'm going to use that wire I got out of that computer and the monitor. Uh, this is the diagram I got off the computer. Uh, Mark Rodden's uh, website. And uh, I'll get started on that. Alright, here we go with uh, my first winding. Uh, a winding. I got 12 windings completely around. I stopped at 12 because uh, I'm getting close to the edge on some of them pretty close. But that one is still got a ways to go. That one's closer. As you can see that one is very close. So I just figured I'd just stop at 12 windings and then uh, I'll start my B winding next. What I'm using is a wire I got out of that uh, Packard Bell monitor. I what I did is I took it out of that monitor and I got an automotive rubber hose. And I wrapped the rubber hose with the winding, the wire, because this is flexible. I can bend it, and uh, if I have to put it through that donut, I can put it through that donut and still bend it and still retain the shape. So I'll get started on my uh, winding B and then uh, videotape that when I get done. All right, I finally finished wrapping uh, the windings, A and B windings. You can see you got the two different wires here. Um, I still have the pins in it. I kept the pins in because I noticed that these wires, they tend to slide back and forth. Uh, so I need to uh, put some kind of glue or something uh, on these to keep them from sliding. So, uh, I'll do that next. Um, a couple things I noticed about making this. this is my second attempt. Uh, they look, actually look pretty cool, these little things. Uh, one is, uh, I think this uh, Fisher Price toy is smaller than what's usually used. Two. Uh, can get very confusing when you're wrapping. Uh, you have to try to keep wrapping it as tight as you can. And it's very monotonous. This took me three hours to make. Uh, but once you get done, it's pretty cool. Even if you don't use it, it could be used as a work of art. Uh, there you have it, my second attempt. My first attempt looked like a dream catcher. This one looks like a rod and coil. And I'm pretty impressed with myself. Um, so, on to the next experiment.